Hey, I'm Drew, and that's Bethany. Today we're paying a visit to the Salton Sea. Over time, the neighborhoods surrounding this toxic lake have produced artwork, oddities, and legends. And we found a location that checks off all of our boxes. It's abandoned, it's hard to get to, and it's full of history. So we thought it'd be a great place to explore. It's the abandoned Salton Sea Naval Base, coming up on Oddity Odysseys. She'll pull us out. From the Indio Coachella area, we're taking California Route 86 South a little over 43 miles through Salton City. After passing Marina Drive, we'll have exactly eight and a half miles to go before turning left onto an unmarked street. About two miles down, the road curves to the left, and we've heard that beyond this point, the road is blocked by a sand dune. But if we can get through, it should lead us straight to whatever remains of the base. Eight and a half miles, right on the money. So this street really is unmarked, but fortunately it is exactly eight and a half miles past, what's that street called? Marina? Yeah. Marina. I'm just thinking stay on paved road as much as possible. And if we get to the point where we can't drive, we're just gonna have to walk. Yes. There are a number of sand dunes around, so hopefully there won't be one in the middle of the road, because they do move around. Steady as she goes. You can see the salt and sea in the distance there. You can't smell it yet though. You can't smell it yet. But the naval base sits right on the western edge of the salt and sea. See, this is what you want to watch out for. These dunes here creeping across the road, that will get us stuck. I'm not seeing any that are necessarily blocking our path. There's a little sand in the road, but it's actually not bad at all. No, a patch of sand. We're just going to slide right on through. Here we go. Look at that. Just coasting right on through. That was actually the smoothest part of the drive. I'm not sure exactly how we get over the, to the pier. All right. Well, we got to get over there somehow. Yeah, I thought that the other road took you to the pier. We don't know where we are. Okay, let's. What are you doing going down this road? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where we are. through here. Are you going to be able to turn around and get out? I could just back out. We're right in the middle of these pools. Here we are. All right, I'm just going to ditch the car maybe right here somewhere, yeah? Yeah, I guess we're comfortable with that. We knew we were in the right spot because we saw from a distance the pier. Looks like we're coming up on it right here. I feel like this is the abandoned naval base iconic scene. Yeah, there's a few buildings, but this is kind of the main. We can't look at those yet, that's later. <laughs> we'll get there. I think at one point all of this was underwater. Yeah. And the salt and sea air. Mmm, fishy. A little fishy. <laughs> Pretty crazy. These old piers are still out here. You can actually see on some of these the salt comes up all the way to here. So that must have been how high the water was at one point. So the water level's down quite a bit since then. Definitely, yeah, you can walk out another, I don't know, 100 yards or so out to the water if you wanted to. But uh, in 1942, the film Wake Island was shot here, the exteriors at least. So that's its claim to Hollywood fame. You see there is still some life here. There's some birds sitting out there on the end of those pylons. And there's an abandoned bird's nest up here. So somebody used to live there. Yeah. Well, we got a couple more buildings over here we're gonna go look at. So let's head over. In 1942, the Salton Sea Test Base was established by the Navy for the use of seaplane and bombing range operations. Since its conception, the naval base has been used for numerous military endeavors. These include rocket development work and parachute testing. So of the Salton Sea Naval Base, this is the first building we actually get to check out. Yeah. Which is very exciting. We saw it from a distance. Yep. This is the power station. Okay. 
It was dubbed the power station because this is where they housed all the electrical equipment. Okay, cool. Which of course now is some decorative art has happened. Ooh, that is a lot oh. higher than I thought it would be. Yeah, it looks like it's been filled in with sand over the years. Well, we might have to go through a window uh, here's here. A, no, here's a door. Oh, here great, go. here's a door. Security system. Or doorbell. What in the world? The brave one. What is that? Just a closet, maybe? <laughs> That's what I was thinking, but I mean, again, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, assume. It looks like it was a closet. Yeah. So this place, I think, was flooded at least twice uh -huh. during its time. And that's probably why all this sand and sediment is in here. Yeah. I'm sure this was a normal size building at one yeah. point. At one point you could walk around in here without crouching. Yeah. You can see over here where the, I assume this was a, looks like a light fixture. Probably another one there. Think these still work? Throw the switch, let's find out. <laughs> Anything? <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, I'm sure there hasn't been live power run here for a long time. You have to flip a switch. It's fun. Oh, is it? Uh, is that like a rite of passage for coming mm -hmm. here? Where's the big one? This one? What happened? Anything? No. I feel a little shorter now. Hmm. But I don't. I don't know if that was the switch or not. Flip the one that says AC. <laughs> okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's not helping. Is there air? It's just coming in through the crack in the wall here. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> All right, well, building one down. All right, on to building two. On to building two. It's the warm one out there, so get ready. Okay, well, we still have quite a bit left to see. Oh, yeah, where's the... All the way over there. Is that the observation tower over there? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Or it could just be a mirage. You got enough water? Nope. All right, let's do it. Remember that time we thought about getting some kind of motorbike or quad? Yeah. And we didn't. <laughs> so we had to walk. We had to walk. Yeah, good um, times. <laughs> but that's okay, because this is one of our one of the buildings that we really wanted to see. Right. And um, we actually get to go inside this one. Oh, very cool. So this was observation building A1. Known as A1. I believe what it was called. Yeah. Well, it looks like some people have been in here already, but overall, there's a lot left to see. Yeah. yeah, if you're coming in here, guys, make sure to wear good shoes. Yeah. Because there is broken glass and stuff everywhere, but this is the building that they used for some kind of target purposes, so we might have to go up on those steps that we saw. Oh, yeah. Check out the rest. Right, there's a target out in the water. Let's see if we can go see it. Not the store target, I wish it were, but <laughs> yeah. a target target. We could really use a target right we now. We could use a target right now. There's no handrail. I know, this is scary. There's all sorts of stuff up here. Gonna go all the way up. Yeah, this is definitely an observation platform up yeah. here. There's still some old, looks like mounts for different kind of cameras or telescopes or something. You can see everything from up here. You can definitely see most of the Salton Sea, I would say. That over there must be our target. I'm gonna set up the telescope lens and maybe we can get a shot of it. I feel like you came prepared. Yes, ma'am, I did. The reason I brought all this stuff and this giant lens uh, will become apparent in a moment. A1 was used as an observation tower and one of the purposes of the base was to test atomic bombs. Now, it wasn't used to test explosive yield. It was used to test the aerodynamics of the bomb. So they would drop bombs over the Salton Sea, dummy bombs, and try to hit a target that's about two miles out over the water there. Now, I'm guessing this was originally used to mount the camera or the telescope, but we brought our own tripod head. All right, so I've almost got a shot here. I can see the sand, the water. It's a good start. There, I got it. You see it? I do. <gasps> I just gotta get it in focus. There, that should be pretty good. So that's the target. So these, uh, these bombers would fly over and they would try to hit that target. Can I take a look? Come have a look. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, way out there. I guess it was a good idea to bring that lens, right? <laughs> yeah. One more stop to make, I believe. 
bunkers. The only situation with the bunkers is that the sand dunes could be... My brake's on, sorry. What were you saying? The sand dunes could be covering them. So we will have to stop and walk whenever we're blocked by sand dunes. Oh, well I love AC, don't you? It's very, very nice. Let's turn it up more. So now we're back to the road. And we're gonna go right instead of left. Lots of potholes, but still pavement. There's something. That just looks like a slab. Yeah, there's some stairs on it. There's a, look at this big sand dune right in front of us. That's definitely gonna block our path. Yeah, I'm not driving over that. But I think the bunkers are over that dune, so we'll have to walk through there. All right, we had to ditch the car. We don't have four-wheel drive, but we do have four-wheel drive shoes, so I think we'll be all right. I just saw both of the bunkers are right over here, and we definitely can't drive to them. No. So what's in here? Anything? Uh, it's been filled in, it looks it, like. Yeah. I mean, we, we figured that might happen with the level of sand over here. Yeah. These are the bunkers, that's for sure. Ooh, is there a little hole there? Can you see inside? Oh, I can't really go up without sliding down. <laughs> See, it's like slippery yep. slide. <laughs> oh boy. There you go. It looks like there's all kinds of cabinets and boxes just thrown in here. If I had a shovel, I'd dig out that door and go inside. Ah, bunker number two. The sand filled bunkers. Yeah. I can't really get in there. I think unless we, because the sand is like really slippery. Ah. If you crawl along the wall there. <laughs> you don't have to. I don't think there's anything back there to see, but... Uh, yeah, it looks just empty. I mean, people have left some stuff behind, but yeah. no good building remains or anything. Yeah. Yeah, it's too bad we didn't have a, a shovel or um. Or a, like a backhoe. Yeah. <laughs> that would take a while. I think it's too hot for that. Probably. But we found them. Yeah. Heading back. Over time, the population of the Imperial Valley increased, which decreased the use of the base. Eventually, the Atomic Energy Commission, which acquired the base in 1946, moved operations to a remote location in Nevada. After a few more decades of activity, the Salton Sea Naval Base was officially labeled as closed by the U.S. Base Closure and Realignment Act in 1998. As it stands, this desolate naval base, a place very much once alive, has become another secret of the Salton Sea. And if you'd like to come visit it yourself, be sure you plan ahead. Check the weather, make sure it's not too hot out here, and bring a four-wheel drive vehicle definitely if you want to see all the locations. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so you can stay updated on all of our new adventures. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you guys next time. You know what else I realized? This whole beach, you think it's covered with like pebbles or whatever, but I'm pretty sure this is all... Skull. This is all bone fragments from dead fish. Ew. It's just covered. That's traumatizing. I know. It's actually a pretty creepy place. This is where things come to die. Or things have died. Yep, quite frequently.